Hi guys, so here is the last uh, part of my set of uh, Soviet uh, modules. It is uh, so large, I have issues to fit it in my uh, light, macro light system. So, it is the main uh, brain box of the system. 9B329, still made in 1971. So, we just have a uh, one more diecast uh, box with uh, two connectors and here in the middle I believe I did already show you in a previous video there is a fuse, a spare fuse and the two buttons which are locked in place by uh, this plate with uh, a seal on it so I believe maybe it is for maintenance purpose and, uh, but the operator is not uh, supposed to do anything with these buttons it seems so in order to show you the awesome contents of this I will need to remove all these screws all around so it will take some time so I will be back so guys I'm back I did unbolt the cover so as we always over parts the uh, electronics are on the, on the cover, on the case goes. So first, always the same case, you can see reinforced die cast. Really, really, really nice. And now we are awesome, guys. Look at what we have here. So this is the part with the fuse holder on the knobs. So if you can see, a relay, some wiring, some uh, potentiometers with lock nuts, by the way, and 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 all these modules, which in fact do not uh, give a clue of what they have inside because they are completely sealed for. Uh, Confidentiality purpose, I believe. You can see these ones are in two parts stacked together. In the middle here, you must have a main uh, wiring assembly, signal distribution, power distribution assembly. It is also sealed. So, in fact, uh, there is some kind of uh, connector back there. Yes. If I wanted to, I could unbolt this and have the thing uh, loose, but the other side is exactly the same, so it is not worth doing it because it will not give any more information. So you can just uh, unbolt in fact these connectors. So as you can see, the assembly is uh, this whole assembly can be removed quite easily, but after repairing uh, in the individual assemblies is almost impossible because in fact you have to replace the whole thing you can see the legs here between the modules are soldered together with small uh, tubes of uh, metal for making the junction and they add a drop of uh, paint or lacquer onto the solder joint for, uh, I don't know why for um, quality control purpose maybe My manufacturing process uh, control so here we are I will try to give you light here so you can see the wirings with potentiometers with the lock nuts so it is one of my best uh, items because uh, it is so unusual. It is not very as the other uh, Soviet electronics, as you can see. These modules are completely sealed in order to keep their contents uh, secret. I believe we have uh, corkwood assemblies in them, in them with uh, vacuum tubes, probably. Hmm. Not sure because for vacuum tubes. You need to dissipate the heat and it does not seem to be the case here, you can dissipate the heat easily. 
so I don't know what there is inside. It should require uh, some uh, X-ray to reveal the contents, but I have to find uh, somewhere I can make do X-rays for it. And as it is pretty big, a dental X-ray will not be enough. So I need a real X-ray table for this. So I hope you did uh, enjoy it. I will make some photos for my Flickr because it is not every day I open this thing. So I will. Uh, use the uh, advantage of having it already open to make the photos for my Flickr. So, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for uh, more. Bye bye. Or oh, what, I give you a little macro view of it if you want uh, to make a screen background. I will zoom and I will make it for you. Here we are. Let me put in the correct uh, way. No, it is not the correct way. So, like this. Uh, here is your background, your co computer screen background here. Or uh, here if you want. Now this is also quite neat for a uh, background. This also, yes, this one is nice, in fact. Yes. So, here you are. I will take the photos and close the thing back again. Bye-bye.